The only time I stop and uh, edit this video is when I constantly uh, do the Vrenna Gun mission because the Vrenna Gun fucking takes forever to get back to the certain point of the area. Oh, fuck me! And I'll meet you back at that point. is in the house, baby, and welcome back once again to the next episode of VTR Let's Play. Okay, i played this game too many times for this channel, and I really fucking love this game entirely. This is a fucking amazing game. And I already saw the the, the reveal that the game, you know, the Cuphead DLC Island is going to be coming out at the end of June, the June 30th, and I'm looking forward to playing it. So I already practiced this game off screen before I started playing this game myself. So, what we're gonna be doing is, I did this last time for a redemption thing, so we're gonna get ourselves prepped up for the DLC Island Let's Play. It's gonna be a playlist for playing this one, playing in hard mode, then they play DLC Island, then play as a, a Miss Chalice, and all that shit. And I'm gonna try to do a little voice acting with Cuphead Muckman and all that shit. Alright, so I'm playing this game on a PC, and I wanna enjoy this adventure. Like, I already played it off screen, and I just wanna just have fun with this game entirely, so. I hope you guys are looking forward to me playing this game, and without further ado, let the gameplay begin. And yeah, I'm going to be playing this game, um, the next episode on a harder difficulty against all the bosses and such. And no, I'm not doing no pacifist run because I fucking hate doing that. Cuphead, don't deal with the devil. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eyes of their wife, El Carol. One day, the two boys wander off, far from home, and despite the Elder Carol's warning, many warnings, ended up, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and ended up Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Muckman soon found themselves on a vending streak at a craft table. Hot dog! Hot dog! Ex uh, exclaimed uh, King Dice, the, ca the casino's lazy manager. These fellas can't lose! These fellas can't lose! I, I just can't over here trying to get on with the voice acting. It's been a while since I watched that uh, next Netflix series and that. <clears throat> That's run, boys! Laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped uh, it was a casino's owner, the devil himself. Now then, now how about we raise the stakes? He suggested a toothy grin. Win one more row, and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boom. But if you lose, I'll uh, have your, your souls deal. Cuphead, blinded um, by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the uh, dice for the throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, uh, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake Eyes, laughed the devil, Walker slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now how about those souls? The brothers pleaded for their very late. Th th there must be another way to I would pay you, uh, Mugman stammered. Yes, sir, sir, please, Mugman, mister! Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the, de the devil snickered, pulling out a uh, parchment. I have here a list of uh, runaway dipters. Collect the soul for me, and I might just part you two mugs. Now get going, the devil wore and kicking the boys out most of the You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mac were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Muggsy! Uh, panted Cuphead. We have to find the cattle, El Cotter. Cattle? He'll know what to do. I know that Cuphead has like a little New York accent and a high pitched voice and so. Like, say, I want to go on a uh, Muggsy, old pal. 
What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourself into. I know you don't want to be a part of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fate. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts. And you best be ready for some nasty business. The debtor's friends won't be very friendly once you f confront them. In fact, I expect they are transformed into terrible beasts. Take, them, take this person so they won't hang you out to dry. Ella gave you the most remarkable magic abilities. Now go out to uh, now go to my writing desk and use the mystical ink out there. You need to prepare yourself for a scrap. Alright, go do a little tutorial to those who don't know how to fucking play this game properly. One forward, press down to duck, press A to jump, press Y to dash, press down and A to descend, press X to shoot, press R uh, right bumper to uh, lock on, aim in multiple direction. Press A to slap, very slap. You can also change this uh, default setting on your own free will if you want to, if you're not comfortable with it. But I'm, I'm fine with the default setting. And if you have a second player with you, then you basically uh, hit the heart to re repair their lives. Also, collect the coins while you're at it if you want to go purchase some new magic and items for your adventure. So just get going. Like, I didn't know how to do the all voices of the Cuphead and Mugman until we watched the Netflix series of it. I love the series, by the way, because like, I know this is the second season I want to watch for myself. Hey, fellas, looks like you're in, uh, in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way, always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting, but now I prefer just strolling around and going on to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. You got three coins. So I'm gonna be going after the coins first, and along with the new uh, uh, super ability, along with it, that makes things a lot easier for me to get through. So I'm getting myself real prepped up to play the uh, DLC Island. Let's play. It's gonna be fucking awesome. Like I, I want to uh, be real prepared. So like when I when I was practicing, I got my ass whooped multiple times. Listen, I'm a fucking idiot. But it's a good thing I'm practicing, saying, oh, I'm actually getting my hands onto this fucking game and try to actually enjoy this gameplay. Cause like I had to get myself weird creative with this game and say like, how you fucking play this game. Like like this stupid. Okay. Ow, motherfucker! That's what I get from being sticking around like an idiot like that. Nope. So whenever you see anything pink, just attack it with your slap. Anything not pink, do not attack it because it's not gonna help. Oh shit. So many steps all around you. Oh shit. That was a close one. Fuck you. Nope. You gotta watch out for head later on, like that, for example. Oh shit. I'm gonna stay away from here because he's just gonna pop up. And that's it. At least I didn't die. I got hit a couple times, but I didn't die, thankfully. I already have my breakfast, I already have my coffee. It was delicious. And I have my water. Stay hydrated. I would have got an A plus if I hadn't got hit at all. That would have been nice. Cop head. If I want to go that way, I would. But um, yeah. <laughs> because Paris. Oh wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with the old Perry move. That's how you deal with the ghosts around here. Only a net would try shooting someone who ain't really there. Speaking of not, not being places, would you uh, would you fellas mind moving on? You spoke of the fishes. Yeah, you know what they say. There's plenty of fish in the sea. And uh, yeah, I just see some people who play this game and did not fucking pay attention to what the game is telling you, saying you're not supposed to shoot them. Those are ghosts who are pink. I see people actually doing it anyway. They say fucking shoot them. They say how you fucking do it? Like you motherfucking idiot. Can you not wait? You do this. Fucking do this. It's actually pretty funny how people just like to be not be able to think properly. It's actually pretty fucking funny. 
So you gotta pay attention with the game is teaching you. Whenever you see anything pink along with it, just slap them with the uh, A button. Just, or just, uh, just, you know, just fucking slap them by pressing the jump button. Depending on what your configuration is for the jump button, then it could be your own option. And there's also people who like to play the game with the uh, keyboard setting. That's up to them. I'm not gonna be worrying about that because I really don't want to play any games like this at a keyboard setting. The only time I like to play games with a keyboard setting is like first person shooter games, most likely. Because it's more uh, fluid for me to enjoy myself. You, yeah, you can't even shoot that even if you want to. Victory, Victory for the Armster. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do my best to do it with Miss Chell's voice. Gosh, I don't know how how to thank you boys for saving me. Why my manners? Did he even introduce myself? I know it's a legendary chalice. Miss Chalice, that is. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those girls. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. I should help. There are other mausoleums all over Acre Isle. I just wonder. Yeah, 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 I know. There's like this two more along with it. And I got myself a super move along with it. Dear me, you mustn't forget, the fellas, that the magic, the magical super arts had to be equipped within me and me before you. So press the menu button along with it, go to super, and it's equipped and done. Alright, so I want to go to the next, uh, all uh, right and shoot mission. It goes to the upper section here, so there's another shortcut you can get up to if you want to do it this way. And you can get yourself achievement of doing it that way as well. Now, go! Run again. Oh, shit. Oh, my, hold on, let me start over. I was trying to go out to the pink uh, bug. Cause, like, um, I just want to give myself a uh, full power to take advantage of these guys. Because I know the internet is going to be talking about this game because everybody who played this game want to play it for themselves. I want to play it for myself and just um, have fun with you guys. Oh god. And also like the last time I played the uh, Cuphead series stuff, my audio for the gameplay for so my voice just sound like crap, so I wanted to actually make it sound legit for you all. Ow! Like, when it comes to me actually enjoying a good video and stuff, especially when I watch it personally, I just like that. Uh, I just like to sound good uh, for my audience stuff. I like to sound good to me too. It's, it's really fun. And there might be some other games I might replay in the future and such. Um, I'm already practicing as we speak. Get the hell away from me, you bug. Alright, come up here. Go away. You motherfucking bug. Alright, come across here. I know it's really hard for everyone else though, who played this game. I don't blame you. I don't blame you all for that because this game is legit hard. That's why it's fun because like it's challenging. The animation looks legit. The the team who worked on this project took them years to get things perfect, and uh, there were like uh, ups and downs along with it, the project, which is understandable because when you try to work on your passion work, it's fucking hard to keep your team together and stuff because like it's gonna oh shit. God damn it! Be right back. Okay, here I am, back to round two. Motherfucking dragonfly. Why did I press that button? That was the wrong button. I meant to do this. Oh shit. I'm trying to be careful for getting a check for that motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh shit, that was the close one. At least I got that dragonfly right there. I got just time it just right. There we are. I shouldn't have died there. That was my fault. It was like that's that's how I get for slipping down like a complete jackass. That was on me. But yeah, I really do love uh, this series. I love this game. It's very creative. It's challenging as fuck, nonetheless. I could have got an A plus if I hadn't get die there or got hit along the way. But at least I got that done. And then they just get my abilities along with it. I just fight against these guys. Oh, 
Alright, so what I'm gonna do is get the spark bomb. I want that one the most. Get this one. This one's really good. Um, I'll worry about that one later. I like I'll get it as I get get a long way. And then I'll uh, you guys at Crypto's all new purchases if you want to use them. Uh, look at your crypt card, you bumps. Yeah, 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 I know. I know how to play this game. I just want to... Uh, no, 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 that's what I want. Get the smoke bomb on me, and we're good. Then we go out to these guys, but Tonic Panic. Yeah, I'm going to be playing against Expert Difficulty on the next episode, because like, it's more fun to watch it. They're just saying... Uh, I'm going to just keep it safe and playing it regular. It's like, cause, like, regular difficulty is actually pretty fun and easy for me. But uh, later on, it's like it just takes away the fun if you make it too easy. So it's always good to face a little extra variety of challenges and stuff. And I have practice. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little secret for this part for those who haven't seen it or my other videos. Because in a little extra DLC uh, adaptation for this, this update, if you don't attack Onion right here, then uh, he won't cry. But also, you'd be summoning another enemy along the way, Mr. Radish. I don't even know well, what his name specifically, but. He will attack you. I won't be doing that when I fight against him in extra difficulty because like, that's gonna be fucking hard. And I love the smoke bomb either too, because like um the smoke bomb is very helpful to evade the enemy's attack. Very helpful. No! I know some of you guys would be excited to watch me play this game in um uh, DLC Island stuff, considering how good I am this game. I mean, I don't blame you guys. It's like, this is really fun to watch someone who actually knows how to play the game. It's really cool. And it's also pretty fun to watch people fuck up along with it. It's pretty fun. Nope. There we are! That's how they play. That's how the arms are rolled. Whew. Awesome. What's my grade? Teach? Oh, come on! I only got, like, one more super meter to get to get to A? I could've got an A+. Plus. Whatever. I'm gonna talk to this coin man right here. Need the root pack. Alright, let me just come across here. <laughs> I'll be your monkey's uncle if I put all my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get the hold of my gold if I sp spread it all around. If I, and if some some, some gel happens to form a coin too, good for him. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you because like sometimes I don't really trust the bank so much, but it's understandable. Because the bank is just like to take the money out when you least suspect it. I've never seen the Netflix series of the series that those two run the club and all that. It's actually pretty funny how they uh, talk in a New York accent. They're saying, uh, like, they always fight against each other no matter what you do or what they do to each other. It's actually a really fun show to watch. If you guys haven't seen this show of a uh, Cuphead Netflix series, give it a watch. I highly recommend watching it. Alright, I'm gonna shoot this one with this spreader. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Okay. I know I can get you. I really am looking forward to playing the DLC Island it's, um, uh, for this game. It's going to be awesome let's play for all of us and says I'm going to have fun playing this game for you guys. Okay. Oh shit. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Tiger. I gotta watch out for this one. Okay. I got... It. Watch my timing on my jumps. Oh god. Okay, close, 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 close. Tiger again. Come on. Oh 
Oh, oh god. I don't even aware there's a uh, Friday Night Funkin' mod that has got calls, um... Uh, that has a little callback for you fight- you rap battle against, uh, Cuphead, Sans, and, uh, Bandy and stuff. I really like that. Shouts out to the team who made that game. Really, also shouts out to Taiyai, who basically the leader of this mod and such, or that mod. I right, shouts out to them. All right, Teach, what's my score? Skill level B. Whoopee. Okay, let's just move on for the next plot, please. Cuphead. Libby and Prose. Okay. Rules of the Ooze. We got Goopy like Grande. Okay, let's load this shit up. I honestly don't want to play the Switch version of Cuphead, personally, because, like, for starters, it looks like a motherfucker. It looks so awful. So if you want to play the a legit version of this one, I highly recommend you play the console version, like, on an Xbox or on a PC. Because, like, the PC, oh, it looks much faster. Also hit this too, by the way, if you want to do the parry. Just keep shooting this motherfucker. Just keep shooting him. Just keep shooting, just just keep shooting. When it comes to long range, use it all oh the pea shooter. When it comes to short range, use it all spreader. And I've never seen people doing a live stream saying that they actually think they beat him, but because they see a tombstone, but all of a sudden uh, that thing is actually attacking you. I'm gonna t attack back. Nope. When it comes to me being a strategist, I have to be analytical for what the enemy's, enemy's attack patterns could be, because like, um. Because if you don't study up the attack patterns for what the enemy throws at you and says, you bound to lose a lot. So I like to, I love thinking outside the box. I'm a, because like, being a strategist, in my opinion, is a huge, uh, a huge advantage for me because like, I love thinking. I love to think outside the box. I love to see what the next move to do is. And, um, okay, like, if you guys haven't seen my let's play of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix 2 and such, or Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix in this case, I played the game in a critical difficulty and I fought against, uh, I fought against a, a lingering will in a critical difficulty, and my god, I guess it's fucking hard. You kicked my ass multiple times. What's that? You two want to fly in an aeroplane like I do? Ha! <laughs> You're not still sitting in any cockpit until you study those blueprints. Yeah, might as well. The aeroplane, that's basically what they call it back then. Because aero means wind. Should press X to shoot, press Y to do special moves, and then I'll press uh, Y to. Uh, strength, I highly recommend you do that, or if you want to uh, evade, just press the right bumper while you're shooting, because it's a lot easier to do that. Press A to slap. And then when you get all maxed up at this part, this happens. But if you need to have like a regular ones right here, you get to shoot down the little mini missiles. Alright, so now you get to know how the game works, let's just move on to the next fight. I highly recommend you learn other stuff as much as you can before you go any further. This match will get red hot. Here goes. Okay, I gotta watch out for the uh, Betty Boop rip off. Still fun to play though. You gotta watch out for a uh, Taurus constellation. I recommend you use your uh, uh, save up for the super uh, move at the very end once they get all maxed out to five cards. Oh shit! Fucking bad! I didn't think it's gonna happen right away. Like she just attacked recently, and all of a sudden she attacked so suddenly. Gotta watch out for this bitch again. I'm gonna keep shooting until I get this bitch. I can imagine a whole bunch of uh, people who play this game on a DLC doll. Uh, all. DLC Island content, they're gonna lose a lot. I, I guarantee you, those who's not practicing right now, they're gonna- OH GOD, OH FUCK! 
I can't even predict where this is gonna be attacking at. Oh shit. You're gonna lose a lot. Oh shit. This bitch! Keep attacking this bitch. Attack this bitch with this missile! Also, you all. Oh, be small in order to evade the attack. So when you see the uh, small UFO, basically you get close as possible. Cause like uh, the red one, it attacks at the uh, long distance. But the yellow UFO just attack right away if you get near to it. Got her. Fuck this bitch. I know some of you guys are impressed to see me play like that. I practice makes perfect, you know. And right now my palm is sweaty. <laughs> I gotta be oh B plus. That's better. Cuphead. I got Hildenberg. Like Hildenberg uh, incident with a huge uh, uh, blimp attack, or not? It, it was attacked with the cotton flame and it uh, just flew down the water top of the building. So this is a really tragic incident. That's basically a reference to that. What y'all looking at? My chip? Ha! Huh. It's not my fault. I've been bu uh, busy fighting off those uh, casino debtors. Now I gotta save up uh, to have my blade fixed. So help me. I wish someone uh, would uh, bust that king dice one. Might as well. A flurry of fury. A flurry of fury. I don't know. Fuck it. This one's a little annoying in the uh, expert difficulty because the expert difficulty. Oh shit! In expert difficulty, the attack is constant. I mean, this one's like a little slower pace than this one, but uh, this one, the, the expert difficulty is far worse. Attack the pink one because like the pink one's just gonna, gonna be annoying. Oh lord. Ow! Fuck! Nope. I love being very tactical with this gameplay. Fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck me! Why did I do that? I get close to the uh, final face right here. Here we are. And I gotta be very careful with my surroundings. I said it! Fuck me! As soon as I said it! That fucking vine just came right after I attacked! As soon as I said it! Okay. Okay, got it with that. Let's try this again. Okay, get you with this. Okay, get on with that. Come on, keep, keep attacking, keep attacking. Remember, when it comes to long distance and stuff, shoot him with a peace shooter. With short distance, use a spreader. The spreader just uh, does all oh, does the attack a little much faster. And to my understanding, I remember playing this game in multiple players and by my side. Next thing you know, it's harder because if you try fighting by yourself, because uh, in multiplayer the hit points are a little longer. So it's up to YouTube to actually. Actually, beat the all oh, fight oh, much better because, like, when you play this game in multiplayer, the hit points are a little harder to uh, take down. Ah, oh, fuck, yeah, watch out for the flowers. This fucker in flower right here. And got him. Okay, I only died once. That was, that was my fault. Because I had this. I was trying to do the super move, and then Von Vines got me from below when I least suspected. 1 1 1. That's basically a lucky uh, angel sign number right there. A minus. Cuphead. Cagney uh, Carnation. Okay, once you defeat all the enemies or the debtors of this part, then this happens. Say, fellas, thanks for setting uh, things down around here. Maybe now I can collect enough dough to pay for my uh, chip blade. Speaking of it, I should get back to work. Gotta make make hay while the sun shines. 
click. You won't be able to get to it because that stupid axe guy just blocking away along with it. So let me get me that new move from here. Okay, I want this one because I'm really gonna fucking need it later on. Ah, <sighs> okay. So like, when it comes to me playing the DLC uh, island for this game, I had to look around every nook and cranny to see where the fuck I need to go find the uh, uh, coins to locate. Because I'm pretty sure there's stuff like that in that game too, in order to find every nook and cranny. And I'm pretty sure the developer did say that that you had to do that as well. Well, ain't that a tip, Pip? Looks like you boys really put the caboose on them debtors. You can head on over to the next aisle. Plenty more mark for you to lean on there. Even though the uh, singer of this um, music there is uh, done by a black woman, it's pretty cool. Guys, hang on! Thanks to start caught up with you. I believe I found a way out of this mess you're in. Hot dog, you have? No strangest crime. you soon be a mess for that uh, Milk and King does, and maybe even the devil himself. Gordy, do you really think? I do! But you'll never get close to the devil unless you have all those Dark Souls contracts in hand. Only then will you get the chance to turn the tables on the fiend. So when the time comes, do the right thing. Yeah, just don't make a deal with the devil. Obviously. Of course I'm going to be showing off the bad ending first, because it's more funny to watch. Alright, actually, hold on. Let me I'll play as uh, Muck Man, because like... It's like, it's only fair I get to share with all the gameplay with those two along with it, because like, alternate the gameplay to see how the game works. Well, so I'm gonna go back for this part, get back in, like play as Muckman, because like, those two are part of this adventure. It's only fair to give them a little fair share of gameplay. And secondly, like, when a DLC comes out, you get to play as Miss Tellus in this type of regular gameplay, so I'm gonna play as her for this as well. Whoever heard about Barbara Shop on Trio? It's basically a country blitz. If you don't find out our fourth member, we'll never uh, sell right again. Be a pal and let us know if you uh, spot him, won't you? Yeah, why not? Okay, I hate BP the Clown the first time I played it, but yeah, you get you get used to it eventually. Here's a real high class belt. You're up. That, hey, Mark, hey, Cuphead. All the stuff that all you see here doesn't make any sense. I don't know how that makes sense with this clown either. Even though the voice actor of Cuphead is literally uh, voiced by a black man, it's pretty cool. Very talented people. Oh, fuck you. Oh, Lord. Get away from me, BP. I never liked you. Because I don't like to get hit in the beginning of the fight and all of a sudden it just fucks me over the long way. I hate. I don't like getting hit along the progress and stuff, but in the beginning of the fight, I don't like that. I'm pretty sure everybody else feels the same way. Oh lord. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. That gave me his disadvantage right here. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, just keep shooting. Oh, fuck me! I only got hit once, and it's not too bad. I was trying not to get hit. Could I do the completion of a route like this, so I try not to get hit all, um, the entire time, and then you just, um, Get everything perfect, all straight forth, all, each one of the bosses is practically impossible. It's practically annoying, actually. So I just play it regularly and just have fun with the gameplay. I don't worry about. I wouldn't worry about perfection. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh lord. Just to finish him off. There we are. Perfect. Cause I don't want to be starting over fighting against this clown. I hate this clown. Alright, the results. 
What's the score, Teach? Come on, you can at least give me six meters. B plus, good enough. Because like, if you just gonna like criticize me saying I fucking suck at this game, fuck you, game. All right, I got BB the Clown's contract. Let's just get on out of here to this next area right here. And also, let me try to give him a coin. We're at it. There you are. I'll show you all the uh, secret course location if you guys don't want to. Also, I'm gonna talk to this guy right here. Well, hey there, fellas. Come to watch my little show, have you? They say juggling is a, a bit of unlike pairing. Tough at first, but soon you use, uh, can string them up together swimmingly. I'm hoping to get a force someday. Four in a row? Yeah, that would be uh, something, wouldn't it? It's actually really tricky to pull it off, but the best place you can do that is to do it at the mausoleum, too. Okay, let me see this up. Uh, yeah, I want to go out to the pink duck. The control is different when you go upside down for a bit. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to go after that one. Oh, that was a close one. I knew the car was gonna come wide this way. Oh, that was a close one too. I'm just being a little reckless right here. Nope. Oh shit. Ah, no, no. No. Yai, get the hell away from me. Bye. Right. You gotta watch out for these guys. Hold on, I actually just stay right here. This is a lot safer. Because I don't want to get hit from this guy. I remember listening to these guys a lot in this stage. Because I wasn't not being um, careful for where I'm going. It's hard sometimes when you're trying to uh, strategize for where you need to go specifically in order to get around places and stuff. Which is understandable. Alright. You smucks just stay the hell away from me. Stay away from my green ass. That was easy. I'm not. First of all, I'm not doing a pacifist run because I fucking hate doing that. Cause like, if you do a pacifist run for this stages and stuff, it's just gonna be like hindering you to beat the stage at all. Like, I did that on, I believe, on the on my little playlist say the uh, Cuphead uh, Redemption, all that stuff. I tried to redeem myself and I got a perfect score. Golly, a perfect score! Hell yeah. Cause like, uh, if, if you do a passive run, then if you don't attack the enemies at all, then next thing you know, uh, you get the peace out of saying pacifist. Is this bragging right? I recommend you don't do that. Also, talk to this guy too. Good timing, fellas. I just added an upgrade to your on your aeroplanes. Now you can wall up your foes with bombs. Just switch your weapons whenever it strikes on your fancy. Try it out. Your aeroplanes are now equipped with a new mini bombs. Uh, switch your weapons any time during battle. I highly recommend you talk to each one of the inhabitants of the islands because like, you never know what uh, what present they would give to you. Because like it just makes things a lot easier for you to get by. It just makes things more fun for you to enjoy this content. Um, I don't know how that makes sense to that other thing you drinking out of yourself. Is it? I honestly don't know how that makes sense out of that. Well, technically, I have seen the. Netflix when they were dipping uh, cookies into their cup heads and stuff, or the and uh, into their heads and such. Then all of a sudden, uh, they were just getting milk out of their heads. So I honestly don't know what that makes sense to that. Is it considered? Actually, I don't know how to answer that question. I said, "Oh shit, that was a close one." Gotta watch out for these fucking jelly beans. And I also hate fighting against a cupcake because, like, it just fucks me over for dealing with these guys. Oh, this motherfucker right here? Look at him move his little feet on here. 
This is gonna be a tough fight, all oh, and uh, extra difficulty because these guys did not fuck around. Alright, I gotta get her away from me with her head. Ow! Get this bitch! And I have to dash right away before she attacks me again. Oh lord. No, 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 no. What? Fuck. I don't know why I didn't press a, uh, the escape call button on that one. There we are. First try. I know some of you guys saying, you cheating, aren't you? No, I'm playing it in, uh, in default settings, so just shut the hell up. It's called practicing. Get used to it. Practice makes perfect. I just hit my mic, my bad. Mike, man. Burn this fun, bun, bun. Okay. I'm gonna go after you as I don't talk to you. You can't catch me unless you can. You take a shortcut. That's what some punk kids of the last week. That's the only way they could have beaten me to the rise. Say, maybe you could show me the word of a shortcut around here? Also, I'm gonna go talk to you. At last, I thought I'd never see another living soul again. I lost my way around uh, while searching for coins. No one has uh, money for haircuts on these days, thanks to the old, thanks to that blasted casino. Well, I better get back to my pals in the cart uh, cartlet. And if you want to take a shortcut and earn some extra coin like this way, just come across this spot. Just go right behind the mountains. As you make your way across this direction, make your way back. I worry, I worry about fighting against that dragon later. It's basically too easy for me once you know how to do it properly. But then again, when you play in the expert difficulty, that's, that's no joke. Yes, fellas, I did hear there was a festival across the island. Now I'll be, I'll, I'll be first on the roll rise again. Yeah, take this card as my way to say thanks. And then get this out the way. Fun fair fever. <coughs> Fun fair fever. Alright. Gotta watch out for these guys. If you shoot the balloon, they're, they're gonna shoot you back with a bullet. That deck, for example. So watch out. Go here. Nope. Shit! The ball came at me. I had no time to react when that stupid ball attacked me. You can do the pacifist run for this uh, one as well. It's just fucking annoying. I just want to shoot the hell out of them. Fuck the pacifist run. It's not worth it. Oh shit! Oh, that was a close one. I was scratching my eyes for a bit. And that's what I get for being stupid. Okay, we're good. We're good. I gotta watch out for the dressings on sets, such as ketchup, mustard, and a relish. Okay. Oh god. Oh lord. I gotta watch out for the uh, uh, condiments. Oh lord. Oh, that was a close one. I only got like one hit on me. I gotta take my time with this shit. No. No. 
Oh! I thought I got out the maximum. Fuck it. Oh well. It's better than uh, losing this fucking thing and start over. I know there's also people who don't want to collect all the gold coins along with it as they get through the run and, uh, the hit and run mission though. But that it's like it's understandable because like some of those coins are considered as an obstacles, like he's saying, are you willing to go after the coin just to get this shit out of the way so you get upgrade yourself? Yes I am actually. I'm willing to do that because I'm that crazy. Speaking of upgrades, let's just get this shit out the way then. Cause like I wanna go after all these guys and just uh, get myself well upgraded. Get this. Get that. Um I really don't need to worry about the hearts. Cause like what happened is like once you get the hearts on you like that, then basically what happens is that uh, it does help, but the sad downside is that once you collect those hearts and equip it into your little inventory, next thing you know, the hearts is like, um, equipping the hearts on you that makes the enemy's hit points a lot higher uh, and harder for you to beat down. So just take it with a normal wrath if you know what you're doing. Oh boy, you did it! We're the quartet uh, court once again! Gee, you must have run yourself ragged down on him, da him down. We can't thank you enough. Let's celebrate with a song. Ready, boys? Key of B flat. It's nice to... Yeah, 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 whatever. I don't have time to listen to it. Because, like, once you get all four of them together, then they'll just sing the song for you. I don't have time for that shit. Let's just be forward on this gameplay and just be done with it. A great time in that stuff. Hey there, Genie. Even though you're basically uh, a dem demonic spirit who's basically manipulating reality and such, but who am I to complain? You ain't gonna catch me to be making rich out of you because there's always a downside when you mess with them. It could be misleading if you all uh, ask it for. Hold on a second. They could be misleading every time they uh, you ask it for wishes and stuff, and then like, sure it's satisfying at first, but in the end there are like uh, consequences in the end when you least suspect it if you don't make your wish carefully. Sometimes there are uh, benevolent types, and there are malevolent types, depending on how they uh, react to humanity. So I highly recommend you be careful with them. So you know what they say, be careful what you wish for, because you're gonna get what you, when you uh, least suspect it. But there are consequences if you are uh, not properly uh, well thought out. Okay. Plus, I love the way how the motion all uh, moves around like this. It's very unique. I'm gonna use the bomb for this one. And here's a little secret, if you go mini for this part, this happens. And then later on, they'll be summoning a tiny version here, the little puppet. And it's gonna be a little harder to fight them like this. And no, I'm not gonna be doing this in expert difficulty either, because like, that's fucking hard. I'd done it before and it was a nightmare. Whenever you see an eye like that, just fucking uh, evade as fast as you could. Ow! Ooh. Whoa! Easy there! Oh, fuck! Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna just throw it off at least once. Because, like, like it's only fair to get to showcase it at least once to see what happens. And it, it fucked me over if I wasn't careful, because I don't even know how much more hit points I got on him. Oh, he's shooting that, that cascara apps along with it. Scarabs are very notorious and those who don't know how they work. They legit eat your flesh alive if you're not careful with them. So watch out for the scarabs if you go visit Egypt. I only lost the fight because the stupid puppet is shooting projectiles multiple times and I had to watch out multiple projectiles along with it. It's fucking hard. You know what? Let me start over. Cause like it's only fair I have a, like a proper hit points along with it. Then all of a sudden I had to start over like that. That's bullshit. 
Okay, that also didn't count because like I want to have a better fight on this one. Like, get the bombs as best as possible so you guys actually uh, have a better chance of taking them out faster. One more time, because like I want to have a good start. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck! Okay. I got uh, uh, study the pattern of what the enemies is gonna be attacking you at, or where they're gonna come at you. Okay. I know there there are a lot of people who come across a genie. Like if they ever come across a genie, he says they saying, "I wish for a million dollars and shit." Like, oh, there's gonna be consequences. There's always consequences if it's not well thought out. So you have to be very careful what you wish for. And then um, when it comes to people who are not smart enough to think outside the box before the consequences for making a wish with the genie, then they're gonna be hating their lives in the end. I was like, "Fuck that! I don't want to be doing this shit." So. I, Take the wisdom from the orange chair and say, think wisely. No! Take him down faster with this one. Oh lord. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Oh. Nope. Okay, one more phase. I gotta pay attention for which one is attacking. Oh! Oh god, I'm trying to be careful with this attack. It's very close. I'm cutting it close! And we're done. I would have been done earlier if I hadn't been so careless with the attacks. It's like the attack pattern for the east of the projectiles was so constant. I like I had to watch out for that. And trust me, you do not want to go after them on an expert difficulty uh, with the secret routes. I recommend you don't do that because like the projectiles are much worse than that. It goes by so much faster. So I just be I recommend you be careful doing that. Okay. Jimmy the Great. The D is basically silent. I am going to the canary. Avery on action. Wall Wally on war bill war bells. So yeah, I, I ain't gonna worry about it too much. I, I got this. I got this. The shoot from the long distance. And the expert difficulty is far worse than this one, by the way. We'll show it off later on in the future. I was trying to slap that thing. Well, that's what I get for being stupid. I was trying to get some extra bombs on him. Okay, I gotta watch out for you. Oh, fuck. Nope. Uh-uh. The answer got this. Now I gotta deal with his son. I'd rather do this to get this out of the way and be done with it. Whenever it goes a long distance, do a long on oh, shooting range. A short distance, uh just uh, use uh, missiles or just mini bombs. Like this, for example. Oh, God. Be very careful, Armster. There you are. 
And then use the mini bomb for this part is a lot easier to worry about shooting from the butt. Again, I have seen many people just do things the hard way instead of without thinking properly. So it's So let me be the guy who is willing to teach you how to play the game properly as I we're having fun together. I'm here to entertain and educate. That's basically my whole purpose on my channel. We're here to have fun, folks. And then next thing you know, people's gonna be asking me saying, play Elder Ring. You know I'm gonna die a lot, but that's the whole point of the game. Cause like we're here to have fun, uh, play that game in a uh, hardest difficulty, and then all of a sudden the game is so notoriously hard that the game is unforgiving. It's been like that since the uh, Dark Souls series and stuff. I'm looking forward to playing it again, like, uh, like the Dark Soul. I have played Dark Souls a long time ago, but I haven't got too in, uh, invested into that game personally because, like, I wasn't too invested. Like, back in the day, my friends, my uh, my old friends, was telling me to play that game, he says, and then I got me so thrown off while playing this game entirely. I, that game is, um, is the online f uh, function, like, if I was to ha play that game online, says that's just gonna bug the fuck out of me. Cause like, there are fucking people out there who's gonna irritate the shit out of you that they're gonna ruin your gameplay and such entirely. Like they go to your all uh, uh, game and all of a sudden it fuck around with you, and then all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden uh, they ruin your gameplay experience if you play online, and they just fucking kill you with no hesitation. People will do that. I had dealt with them before. Excuse me. So I'm planning to play the game, um, those type of games offline, so I can actually give us a good experience for all of us. Come on, where's the multiple ghosts at once like that? I want to go out to four. It's supposed to be here. There we are. Three, four, five. That's five. Five slaps. Normally, the highest number you're supposed to go for the recommendation is up to four slaps, but if you get five, then it's still good regardless. I knew I was rooted around here. <coughs> I know if I rooted around here, I hear I can find something special for you. But I didn't know I could count again. Thanks for saving me a uh, second time, boys. Take this magic soup. Ah, oh, fuck. I always press A by accident, it says like that, like, um, what happened when I press A after they get upgraded? All of a sudden, that was a bug that I jumped up in the air like that out of nowhere. Oh my, I'm over here trying to speedrun this shit, that was on me. Okay, so, let's just go down to one of my enemy along the way. And then I'll fight against the dragon, and while we're at it, let me go talk to you. Hey, I heard you mention it on parry four times in a row. I did five. I'll, I'll bet that you're so proud you could uh, bust. Uh, bust. Here's a coin to reward your uh, persistent voice. Don't spend it all one on place now. I'm afraid I can't hold back on that offer like that because like I need to buy something to get by. Um, I'm gonna need this, and I'm also gonna need this. Yeah, we're good. Fairy frolic. I recommend you have this on you because it's a lot easier to get the job done once you fight against this asshole. And it's also really strong too oh, if you're oh, trying to aim downwards like that. It's like shooting water balls all oh, um, water builds I guess this asshole. You gotta anticipate the enemy's attack patterns. So it's like I know for for guarantee fact that when it comes to me playing the game of DLC Island, I'm gonna lose a lot because like I'm burning the attack pattern for each of the enemies. I'm willing to admit that. But when it comes to me be strategic against my enemies and such, I'm willing to learn the patterns along the way. Everybody's willing to eventually. That's how the game works. That's what that's what makes the game really uh, enjoyable because of the attack patterns. That look. You be able to adapt to the attack patterns that it allows you to be smarter than them. And then we get the ring shot. I guess he's asshole. You gotta watch out the fireballs as you do this. Because if you shoot them, they'll burst out. Oh, you get about to duck down for this part. Oh shit. And that's it. Yeah, I wanted the greatness. I'm awesome. I know how to think. 
But I will admit though that the fight when you first play for the first time, it is legit challenging because it's fucking hard. And um, that's why it's so much fun to play this game because I love to think outside the box. It's so much fun. And I do it a lot faster than the last time I did it. Much better actually. Okay. Okay. Um, let me just get this on me. No wait. I want to get this on me. Ikwa'o. I'm going to talk to you. Looks like I might have underestimated you bums. You gave it uh, you gave it to them debtors up, but good. Go on over to the next island. Lots of fun uh, times I'm waiting for you there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's just get on with this gameplay adventure. The little mugs uh, have some fun in them, I'll say that much. They're making a miss me out of the debtors. You see? I knew there was something special about those fellas. Well, don't be too sure on just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, uh, dice. Uh, if those two were to be Frank's, uh, uh, Frank's try anything, I'll be ready. It's like, I really don't know how to do his voice for the devil, uh, the devil himself, because, like, the voice actor for the devil is a little different, it says, and let me switch over with, uh, Cuphead, because, like, I really wanted to switch over and make it a fair gameplay for those two, because, like, if you make it fair for them, then give it a fair share of gameplay for each one of them. I don't think we play as Cuphead again. Alright, let's just go on to the next era here. Honeycomb. Oi, oi, oi! Oh, shit. I gotta watch out for them goddamn stingers! Oh fuck. Sucks for you guys, you constantly work every day in order to survive. But again, we need you guys. Without you guys, our planet is dead. There can only be one uh, cream bee, because if there's more than one cream bee, they fight, to each uh, fight each other to death, or their worker bees would just kill the cream. Uh, newcoming creams and such. They have a little picky system for how they uh, have their creams around their system. Oh shit. Why'd I do that? I'm just greedy. Oh fuck. I'm gonna attack in the distance. Oh shit! Oh! Oh! oh fuck me! I almost fucked up completely. Okay, she's going to the final phase. This is gonna be a little tricky. Uh oh! Nope! 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 nope. Fuck me! Fuck! Okay, I know I can do this. Oi! 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 The uh, love bomb shots is actually really helpful for this fight because like, it takes multiple damage, like double the damage as you shoot them. Yeah, I used to go for the charge shot in this game, but um, it takes fucking forever. I mean, the charge shot helps and all, but it's not really that resourceful, personally. I like this one better. It's, it's really resourceful. I don't know why I did that, because I thought I was going to get hit, but I didn't think I was landing on the platform until now. And I died. That was what I get for being careless. Because, like, the bitches want to eat my ass. Fuck that. It's actually pretty funny that every time I see people's uh, live stream, that there's always uh, showing people footage of all what happens when they die in this gameplay. That 
Base fucking uh, screaming the ass off out of uh, frustration. It's actually hilarious I'm just looking at it. I've seen them done it before. It makes me want to laugh at them. So, which is understandable because this game is notoriously hard, but in a fun way. And I can actually really appreciate that. I gotta watch out for this bitch. Why did I do that? I was not paying attention to that. Oh shit. Nope, nope. Oh, I hate that fucking thing. That was one of my least favorite. Whoa! The shot almost got me. Woo! She's gonna do the final face again. Get over right where we're at it. It's a lot easier to do it up here than to do it down below. And it's a lot easier to do it this shot on while you're climbing your way up. That way she can't get you so easily. Oh. Oh. Ah! Well, that's what I get for walking into that. I literally walked right into that. Here's a real high and my palm was just sweaty. That's not good. Oi, oi, oi. What's fun about doing this type of gameplay like this while recording yourself is when you get done, you get to see other people's reaction to it. Because like you get to join in the fun with uh, everyone else and saying, "Oh, you, you get to laugh at them because you understand the pain that they've gone through." It says all the YouTubers, YouTubers alike. I like watching their videos and stuff. It's fun because they were talking about the same subject. Oh God, no! No, 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 no. I knew she was gonna summon that. I fucking knew it. Remember, long distance shots, take advantage of that. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, Lord. Okay, get over this. Okay. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> because I kept attacking with the super attack along with it, and I just keep shooting with the loop shot. I should have did that earlier. Like, say, I would have won that fucking thing. Okay, that takes care of that. Cuphead! Rumor Honey Bottom. Actually, I want to get this uh, run and hit mission along with it. Or hit and run mission, out the way. Oh yeah, run again. That's what it's called. Run again. I want to get this done and collect the coins and just uh, get the purchases out the way. It's like, I have nothing else to purchase for the weapons and such. I have no desire for doing that. I just want to get this part done over it. I always hated this stage. I want to pass this run. The pass this run is a nightmare. Because all this shit. I forgot to switch to... Hold on. Hold on. I forgot to switch to the spreader for this one. I hate doing that. Hold on. That was my fault. Like, I got used to doing the spreader for this mission, but I honestly forgot to switch it back for that one. You stinky ass brass is pushing me away! Get the hell out of my way! If you want to succeed on oh, doing this mission with a, pa a pacifist run, I highly recommend you equip yourself with an invincibility on you. Cause like, well, I fucked up. Cause like the the, most, the super move two is allows you to be invincible just for at least a few seconds. Um, I guess in two to uh, three seconds long. Well, other than that, it doesn't last too long. As much as I would love to, cause like that's just literally breaking the game if you do that. 
the hell away from me. Give me the coin. I usually miss it sometimes like an idiot. Get the hell away from me. The spreader helps out a lot for this part. Go away. Get the hell away from me. It was Miss Chalice in back in the old days. Get the hell away from me, motherfucker. I said go away. Okay. Uh, this is the one with this direction. Oh, fuck. I just recently practiced at doing this shit before I started playing this game. The only time I stop and uh, edit this video is when I constantly uh, do the Vrenna Gun mission because the Vrenna Gun fucking takes forever to get back to the certain point of the area. Oh, fuck me! And I'll meet you back at that point. And I'm basically made it back to this point. Okay. Hopefully I actually get through this part entirely before this motherfucker gets me to my own death. And I need to get the coins while we're at it. Again, I understand people don't want to collect all the coins in the running gun mission because the guns are considered as obstacles that they get in your way. And which is understandable. But me personally, I'm a fucking hoarder. I just go after all of them. As, as long as I don't die horribly. Again, because like, that's just annoying. And also, when it comes to you doing the smoke bomb thing, it's actually really hard to get through this part because like, um... It's like you don't even know where you're gonna land until you see yourself fall at the last minute when you least expect it. I practice doing that part completely when it comes to you determining where you're gonna fall as you're using a smoke bomb because the smoke bomb it helps out evading the enemy's attack. But when it comes to you avoiding the certain obstacles and try to land those, all the little platforms like that earlier, then it's actually fucking hard. I'm gonna go after the scientist right now. Why? Why not? First of all. And second, like, I want to get the shit out of the way because I really hate fighting against him back then, but I practiced doing the shit, and... Hey, fighting against him in expert mode? Worse. Far worse. Just attacking with, a uh, uh, mini bombs and such. Oh, fuck. Let me start over. Because, like, I want to have a better chance of, uh, more hit points on me. Get the hell away from me. The mini bombs is very helpful for this type of part because like the blast radius, you know, I'll just take what I can get. Now the blast radius will actually make things a lot uh, easier to spread the attack. Also the mini bombs is very helpful against the other bombs along the way because it's all uh, the part for hit points. It's attacking with the mini bombs because, like, um, the bombs are gonna keep attacking you. And make sure you use your evasion as much as possible because, like, the evasion helps out plenty of this fight. And we get into the final phase for this part. Fucking hard. Oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up! I was nearly over half right there. Not bad, not bad. I did a far worse last time when I first played it. Fuck me, I fucked up. Get the hell away from me! That motherfucker's resistant.
Okay. Oh, oh! I just flew right into it because it's got the bombs! Oh. Whenever you get an opportunity to attack me with the bomb, do it. It makes things a lot easier to get the job done. Oh. That also includes mini bombs too in my head. It's like playing against Galaga. No! <laughs> I was so fucking close in the end. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I knew I was almost done with this fucking fight. I hated this with a mom. I know a lot of you guys are laughing at me at that part. <laughs> I don't blame you because I would be laughing at myself too. No, no, I'm not kidding. I do make fun of myself every time I do my uh, watch my videos and such. It's actually pretty fun. Like, um, if you get a chance to watch your own videos that you fucked up like that, it's very fun to watch. You get to la laugh with yourself along with the your audience itself. So. You're showing the audience that you're having a good time with each other and. That way you actually uh, enjoy the good let's play for together. So that's what's all the magic of video games, because like, you get to have fun together. Same games with magic and music, art, and all that kind of shit. Creativity is just really uh, enjoyable. You know I can beat them. Well, I fucked up. I, was, I got too greedy for that part. Nope. Get the fuck away from you fucking bombs! God damn! Oh my god! No! Oh, fuck! Fuck you! That's what I get for being too greedy for that part. That's what I get for being too greedy. Oh, okay, that, that I messed up because I thought that fucking uh, mini robot was gonna attack me with it, but I, I fucked up. Let me start over. Oh god. Oh lord. Ow! Fuck you. Ah! Stupid bombs! <laughs> I fucking hate them! They're literally gun after you! Get rid of those bombs as much as possible, because they will hit your uh, movement. Oh lord. I'm trying to get this part out of the way, because I really hate this fight. I want to be done with it. Oh lord. Oh. We got to this phase already? Huh, wasn't expecting that, okay.
Well, that's what I get for oh, not paying attention. Oh, fuck. There you are. That's what was supposed to happen earlier. At least you got a good laugh out of that part. I mean, I did. <laughs> you gotta, like, make fun of yourself every once in a while. Just enjoy the show. It's like, if you're having fun along with everyone else, then um, they're having fun. That's very important, you know? And I got an A-. That's better than nothing, I suppose. I got the worst part out of the way, thank god. Because I really do not like that fight at all, period. Because that fight was obnoxious. Alright, let me go after this one too. The rip off of Tom and Jerry. Warner or War Furman. Yeah, I just wanna fucking get this shit done. What do I have on me again? Spreader? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure spreader. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what I cooked on me. I used to have a hard time playing this fight too, all with the first time I played it. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with this shit? You can also use uh, um, the the smoke bomb uh, dash attack for this part, or the evasion for this one. I want to get rid of this phase uh, as soon as I can. The spreader uh, gets the job done faster anyway, if you try that. And this one scared me too, the first time I saw this. Oof. Down you go. This fight is actually notoriously hard when you play in uh, a, uh, expert difficulty. It's fucking hard. Come on. Fuck you guys! That was a huge knockout success. First try. <laughs> because, like, the scientist is far worse than any other enemies I dealt with in this game. It says, like, when it comes to me dealing with. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, fuck, I can't get it. It was a bug in my way again. Okay. The scientist is uh, notoriously hard because, like, the the bombs constantly chasing after you and says that I want to get that one out the way first because the other ones is practically easy. Got two areas unlocked, thank you. Alright. I'm going to talk to this little girl right here. Ah, oh, you're going to need some tips. Some tips if you want to keep all these deadbeats. Start mixing up your weaponry. Can't expect it. All, all your arms work at the same at every flow. Max and Max and lovers, that's what I say! Shake head and that's basically why I just switch up some items against them. Just to make things a lot easier. And speaking of, I'm gonna go after her, go after this guy with this one. I like to use a peach shirt for this one the most, but if I really need to, I'll just use this one uh, for evasions. This one's is less powerful than a peace shooter, so just use the, uh, uh, the homing stars as your advantage. To my understanding, when you play the DLC Island game, the, uh, the weapons in that game is a little different than the ones you're familiar with right now. So it's always good to be very cautious what you're doing. I don't even know what I'm using for my weaponry. Oh, we already got to this phase already? Damn! That fucked up! I'm pretty sure. Apparently I did. And so is that too. 
I stomach guess it. You can also slap this too because you guys have one ring. Most likely you're supposed to duck, but uh, use this for your own advantage if you want to get some extra um, special move on you. It doesn't build up much, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. And we're dead. Now some of you guys are impressed by my gameplay on skills. I would be impressed too if I haven't seen anyone that play that well. Again, I practice before I start doing this let's play. So it's a really enjoyable game. I fucking love this game so much. And I'm gonna uh, not like myself for playing an extra difficulty on the next episode because this is not gonna be fun for me. It'd be fun for you guys to watch, but not fun for me entirely because I gotta deal with the expert uh, difficulty. Gotta watch out for this. I used to hate this stage when I first played it. I hated the stage. Get the fuck out of my way. Uh, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna write on this crap right here. I just fell. Uh, Convenience. Ow! Okay, that was inconvenient. Get this out because, like, I want to shoot out the old, old lobster here. That's basically Larry the Lobster's ancestor. Ooh, that was a oh! Whoa, that was a close one. That was a close one. I thought I was gonna get hit there for a second. Thank God I didn't. That's why I got the homing star for my own advantage against this part right here because it's, it takes there so many obstacles along the way. It's hard to deal with these motherfuckers. Wait, wait, oh! I was not paying attention. That was my fault. All I said, what the fuck happened? Like, oh, wait, I, I forgot to hit the slap. That was my fault. My bad. I was too busy attacking the shrimps instead of the homing shot. I was not paying attention with the stupid rock in front of me. That was my fault. Watch out. Okay. No. Okay. Um. Uh... Okay. Get this out. Fuck you. Oh, I hate this motherfucker. Y'all just get the fuck away from me. Did that hit point count why he's still active? After I defeat him? Okay, that was bullshit right there. Oh, yeah, like I said earlier, I really hate this stage when I first played it. It was frustrating as shit. I am aware that there are actually flying fishes in real life, if you were to be doing research for their actual flying fish and stuff. It's actually pretty funny, because like, when you see the fish flying in the air like that, they end up getting caught uh, by actual predators in mid-air like that. Or why they're getting chased by predators in the sea, so there's also one uh, chasing them from the, uh, in the air. That's just like double the threat along with it. It sucks for them. It's a circle of life, which is understandable, but fuck, that sucks for them completely. Get the fuck away from me! Get the hell away! Oh, fuck. Alright, now I just do this again without fucking it up this time, because I fucked it up last time. 
Pay attention to the fucking rock in front of your arms, there. It's all about timing. Okay, the stairs are gonna be annoying in this part. The clamp is at least your worries. I ain't about this life. Fuck that. Fuck this stage. I never liked this stage at all. Okay. One minute and thirty seconds, it's not bad. Even if it took me a little longer than that, because I died a couple times like an idiot. I got B? Not bad. Again, I'm not doing no passive run. Fuck that. That's a nightmare. Don't even bother doing that. Okay, uh get this out. I got Muslim Liam 3. The super move is actually pretty cool to deal with. Just four slaps in the face. Oh, I fucked up. That was my first death at this part. Yeah, yeah, I know. Because, like, I was trying to go after them, but it was too slow to go after them in the end. Slap, slap, slapity slap. Slap in the face. Bitch slap their asses. Nope. I got some more right here. Fuck him. Come on, let's go. Almost done. Come on. Oh, that was a close one. Almost done. Victory. And we're done. Thank goodness you came by. Those lousy ghosts had me all, but all good that time. Here's the last magical from super art I was able to find for you. Well, time for me to get on. Time for me to take a powder. Good luck, fellas. Oh, fuck. I really can't do her voice at all. Shouts out to the voice actress who did uh, Miss Chalice and stuff. I really can't do that voice. Cause like, first of all, I'm a dude. <laughs> Cause I, I, can, I can only do mostly uh, guys' voice. It's pretty obvious. Um, get this on me. Get this on me. Get this on me. I only got like two more coins to go after. I know where to find the last two. Okay, I'm gonna go after Mary Canary. Oh, oh no, 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 not Mary Canary. That, that's Mary Canary's from Badger Kazooie Series. I'm gonna go out to one coin over here, back here. You receive the coin, and um, come across here. Kala Maria, that's what I meant to say. Hi, C's, hi, G's. I know there's a lot of people calling out her, that, when it comes to her forms, they call her a Medusa. But I'm gonna have to uh, clarify to you guys that it's not a Medusa. A Medusa is a person's name. Uh, uh, one of the three sisters of the. Of the Zeus's daughter and such. I assume this is a daughter of Zeus. Then, um, that uh, she's basically sister to Athena. And then again, that makes sense that she is a sister of um, uh, Athena and she's a daughter of Zeus. Then, um, oh, hold on a second. That uh, everybody called uh, the Gorgon uh, Medusa. Like, that's, that's incorrect. Uh, Medusa is uh, transforming to a Gorgon because, like, um, uh, she was raped by Poseidon, which is fucked up. And after she went to go ask for protection for uh, her sister, next thing you know that uh, she decided to curse her instead of just fucking uh, helping her. The, uh, the gods of the uh, Greek mythology and such, the Olympians are fucked up people. Same goes for the Norse mythology creatures as well. When it comes to you dealing with gods in the Greek mythology, they are no saints. Alright. 
I, I didn't think it could give me that gaze on that distance. I better watch out for these projectiles. And her gaze. The way for you all to evade the attack and just uh, do it in a uh, close distance like that. Get close. And I flew right into that. I was about to get to the next phase shortly. But yeah, uh, Kala Maria transformed into a Gorgon, a sea, uh, a sea creature. I don't know how that works, but okay. Although, I had to uh, compliment uh, Kala Maria that she's got nice hip. She's got a nice hip, like any guys would go for that. Despite for her being a mermaid and all, but she's got hips. Oh shit. Oh shit. And I'm guessing all the soul that she just spit out like that, she must have eaten their asses too, considering that she's a siren. Sirens are very notorious at all to the sea that every time they sing with their enchanted song and all, they just basically drag the sailors to the death and then eat them afterwards. No, that's how mermaids work. I'm sorry to all you girls out there who are fans of mermaids. That's basically how it is in reality. If you guys don't believe me, do your goddamn research. And I fucked up. That's what they, that's what I get for saying um, all that shit thing. Shut the fuck up and play the game, Armstrong. I don't want to ruin my uh, childhood fa fantasy. You are a kitty, but I'm not sure that I should, be, uh, catch, should catch and release. Oh well. Good day for us. I'm gonna try to lower down the hit point faster this way. She got the Betty Boop eyes and all, but she's uh, super gorgeous. And she got the uh, Charge bearing hip. Them hips! And I fucked up. I legit fucked up. Oh, whoa, 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 I did not mean to uh, get hit that early. This is fucked up. I'm gonna shoot in a distance. It's safer. Slap them fishes. Ooh. Fuck. Okay, take care of that. Attack at distance. We got to the next phase. Get close enough. I'm gonna try attacking close distance like this. Ah, oh, fuck. I fucked up. You do not want to get caught by the gaze whenever a C does this shit. Especially with the eel shooting projectiles at you, you better watch out for all that. This is the best strategy for me to get this bitch before she tries to give it her gaze. Wait, I'm not even hitting her! The snakes is not even- Like, I'm not even hitting her! What the fuck? I just noticed that! I like what the fuck's going on here! Whenever the snakes just sticks out one of the second phase, it's like, it doesn't affect her, it says. Like, I just noticed that she's not flashing. Hold on. I guess a certain direction, so you have to hit directly at her face, not her head, specifically. Cause like if you try attacking the head with the stakes of the ass and stuff, it's not gonna hit her directly because I noticed she's not flashing. Oh, good to know. It's always good to know that little detail.
Yeah, just aim directly at her face and stuff. Oh! Oh! Get the fuck away from me! Oh! Fuck, I flew right into that! I honestly don't know how that works. They turn into a gorgon like they've been bitten by an eel, but whatever. Just aim all like this, and you should be good. Anyone want some eels? I I'm hungry for them. Ah, that's why I fucking hate getting caught in a gaze like that with the projectiles, because like, oh, um, if you get caught by projectiles after being gazed by her, then uh, you pretty much fucked. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm pretty sure in season 2, Cuphead, I'll show that they're gonna talk about Kala Maria and stuff, because they didn't show her off except for the opening of, uh, title. Motherfucker! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is like, I, I know I could get this bitch. Okay, got her. Switch it up a bit whenever you do this kind of tactic. Oh, fuck. I hate dealing with a dolphin attacking me like that. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, on to the next phase. I highly recommend you be small while you're evading the gaze like this. I'm gonna wait till she does her gaze. Here you are. Avert her gaze before she stuns her ass with stone! Here you are. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh shit! Oh, fuck. Okay, I got this. I got this. Shoot in distance. God damn it, I was so fucking close, wasn't I? Yep, I was fucking close. Fuck this shit. I was close to the end, though. I'm over here shooting your breasts. Any perverted guys would go aim for that. I'm one of those guys, apparently. <laughs> oh god. Even though you don't have much chest on you and such, but uh, you got ass. I'll give you that much. You got them thick ass, oh, baby, baby carrying hips and those. Yes, your hip is so thick. It's 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 like a leverage for getting guys out there. Oh, fuck me! You know what? No, start over. She's giving me the most trouble for some reason. I'm an idiot. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. Nope. Ah, fuck you, the sea turtle!
On to the next base. Blow ass up with this. Gonna do her gaze again. Yeah, I flew right into that again. God damn, I was so close to the next phase. The final phase, actually. I don't know how much more I'm gonna do with this shed. Hopefully, it'll be a final time I do this. I hate when this fucking uh, seahorse, that's literally a seahorse. Uh, it's over here all uh, pushing my ass up all uh, stream work, and all of a sudden it just fucked up my evasion. It looks like a giraffe, but it's actually a seahorse. Ah, shit. Um, I have a bit, big question though, the more I think about this. Isn't the giraffe and uh, uh, horses are distant cou uh, cousins of uh, Ecrians and all? I mean, it would make sense. Considering the giraffes have long necks and all, but they're pretty much like distant cousins. I'm pretty sure they are. If I'm right, let me know in the comment below. If I'm not, then let me know what distance relatives they are to the giraffes and all that. But I know the zebras are distant relatives and all for Ecrians. At least I got that final face right here. And it turned into stone. I just keep bumming her ass until she's done. Okay. Get her. The last way should get her. Fuck! Oh, that took a while. I have to admit, it took a while. Like, my practice run, I did better. Because I wasn't talking too much. Ugh. Then again, it happens to anybody whenever you talk to your uh, views out there that whenever you talk to your audience while you're playing the game, it does get distracting because um, you try to talk and communicate with your audience while you're playing at the same time, it's actually legit distracting. Some people might think it's easy, but it's actually fucking hard sometimes, like, if you're not used to it. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on a second, we'll say... I can just get this on you. Yeah, cause like, uh, whenever I talk to my audience as I play my game, I can get easily distracted because I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about, also I don't even know what I'm looking. It's hard for me to concentrate like that. Oh yeah, by the way, um... Get your heart out. I'm gonna be showing off the little extra secrets on this part. We're gonna have a separate battle. So basically, if you stand on the angels, all, all the, the angel signs like this. Next thing you know, oh shit! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And like once you get yourself uh, standing on these angels stuff, you can have a different scenario. Well, I fucking ran into that. One more time. A great slam and then stop. And begin. That's one down. Come on. Blow that kiss at me. Oh, I fucked up. Come on here. Blow that kiss of yours. Not the fan, I, I said a kiss. There you go. You know what, fuck it. Become a Vito. And when you get to this scenario, she becomes a nun. Because everybody knows that when it comes to you being a Vito and such, uh, for your husband, they become a nun. And they choose to become a nun. Because, like, that's the only way you become uh, a nun. If uh, if you basically uh, lose a husband, so that's the only way that they become a nun. If uh, if you lose a husband, Cause, like if you don't have a hus, if you if you do if you still have a husband, you can't be a nun. That's my understanding. I 
I'm only gonna be, I just want to show it off at least once. Okay, we're gonna go to this scenario. And then there goes her deceased husband right there. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I, I, I pressed the aim like an idiot. And I flew right into her! God damn it! Let me try this one more time with this whole nuts shit. Blow a kiss at me. Just blow a kiss. Stupid buggers are like flying on my fucking uh, shoulder. God damn. Shit. I know some of you guys say, quit bitching to play the game. Shut up. Now unless the bugs happen to be blood suckers and shit, that's fucking annoying. And like, they literally fly out your face and they bite your face and stuff when you least suspect it. Oh, fuck me. I was hoping he did that. And there goes her husband. Again. Shoot this bitch down. Oh shit, that was a close one. Ah, oh, fucking hell, this fucking bug is floating my hand. And you distracted me, you fucking bug! Get the hell away from me, you nun! Nope. There goes a passer again. Should you guys down with this? Little brats. I got time just right when it comes to this part. That's why I will never do this part on expert difficulty, because this is a nightmare if you do that. It takes care of you guys. On to the last part. That's why I use a homing star I guess this bitch on this part because like, I actually just run away from this attack. And we're done. Yeah, I'm not kidding. This literally flying bugs are flying on my hand or my face that it's basically like biting my face. So those are the uh, pretty special fights you see along with this game that 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 was added into this game. I like that uh, detail. They just make it more interesting for you to play the game that is so unique. That's why each one of them is very unique in their own way. It's fucking cool. All right, get this on me. And then, uh, we'll go fight against this one. A Phantom Express. I honestly don't like this one, personally. But, um... You, you can get used to it once you know the pattern. And those of you who know what I'm talking about, because of this fucking, uh, track I'm on. I'm gonna shoot you in a long distance like this to be safe about it and not worry about you guys. Hold on, hold on, that didn't count. Considering you guys are like uh, all poltergeist and all that, you guys can easily reproduce your own eyes whenever you want to. Why do I keep fucking up like that? Like, um, I want to at least get hit on the middle of the progress, not in the beginning of it.
Yeah, that's basically why I hate this mission, because, like, whenever the pink item uh, attacks this along the way, it's gonna throw us to four when we least expect it. So be careful what you do. Uh oh. If I stay away from the attack, I'll radius from the hands. That way, you don't have to worry about getting hit on the progress. Oh, I mean, process, my bad. My bad. Hug the corner, by the way. Attacking with this. That's one down. Oh, that was a close one. At least let me get through with full health. One more final phase. This is actually fucking annoying as well because of the multiple attack projectiles um, coming at you. You gotta aim for the heart. And the flames that are all bony flames um, it will come at you when you least expect it. So, my advice to you is to say focus on the what comes your way as you attack them. Like, look at all your surroundings that you get the, the, the bony uh, ring uh, flame will come at you and try to attack along the way. They, they're gonna attack you on multiple locations and shit. Yeah, this is the most uh, part that everybody can lose this fight when you least suspect it. I mean, even for me too. And yeah, I know I make it look too easy to get my practice, but um, it, it's like... No, the only way you can actually defeat him is like you have to know the strategic way to how to beat them properly. Like, then you gotta know their attack patterns, you gotta come up with a strategy. Best way to uh, take out your enemies, and then the best way to do it is like just know everything what they throw at you. That that way you can actually make things a lot of fun for you. Because think about it this way: because like if this game was to be too easy, then this game wouldn't be enjoyable to many people. I mean, it may be enjoyable to some people, but not enjoyable for all of those who want a challenge. Inquail hell. Oh, I feel like my head itches. I think it's supposed to be a coin around the corner or something. No. Not here. Nope. I think it's down here. But the last corner is supposed to be down here. Somewhere. Here we are. That's the last one. And let me just change it to a muck, man, because, like, um,. We'll alternate the characters and make it an enjoyable experience for all of us. Well, Cuphead and his pal bug man, they like to roll. Alright. Alright. Let me go back to the aisle, um, three. Is that? And, um, let me just get this last purchase done, then that'll be the completion for that one. Okay, the last purchase, and that's all of them. I really don't need to worry about the other items, personally. I like to use the uh, smoke bomb the most. That's the only items I like the most in this game, because like it helps me evade the attacks multiple ways possible, because every time you see something that comes at you, you can just disappear uh, temporarily, and then reappear when you least expect it, and... You can just lay, say it's a good way to stay invincible before they attack you with it. Well, looky here! You actually pulled it off, but you made a, me lose a bet. And for that, you ain't seen the boss just yet. We're gonna play a little game first. Of course. Okay. So what I'm gonna do to you guys is, um, just go, um... Honestly, did not mean to do that, but okay. I was trying to go after all of them. Because, like, you get to see it, you see the attack patterns along with it. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go. Oh well, it works either way. Oh, 
this Mr. Cigar himself, I just had to dash with one platform when he'd go to the next uh, ashtray and uh, along with it. Smoke is back, kids! Do not smoke. Don't fuck up your lung. If you want to do a singing career, just don't fucking smoke. Damn. He shows no mercy to him, just dumping his ass. I'm gonna go for two. So I thought. Oh well. At least I could progress uh, along the way. At least I know how to deal with them. Every single one of them. Nope. I got a time my attack just right. That basically a uh, rabbit skull. What the fuck? I gotta use a restroom after this. That was easy. Please give me two. So basically, if you hit the safe uh, uh, route along with it, you should be okay from getting attacked. At least give me some extra health while we're at it. The bigger the health, the better. Oh, of course, this is fucking lucky. I saved it just for you. That was my bad. I shouldn't have done that. Nope. I was not even paying attention to um, what I was doing. I should have saved the bump for that part. I forgot. It's been a while since I fought him. And I know what you guys think. Did you practice this part too? No, actually. I stopped um, at the tr uh, Phantom Express before I got to this gameplay. I was playing it on my Xbox Series X a, a while back. Oh, shit. Nope. At least I know where to find that one. Alright. Okay. Gotta watch out. Concentrate, concentrate, concentrate. I have never seen some other people who played this game. They were like saying, oh, well, oh which one's which? Like, who do I uh, go after? It's like, I don't want to be going after these guys. Uh, which is understandable. But sometimes you just gotta face it. Uh, every once in a while, this is a goodbye, you know? Just be strategic and just, um, uh, and you'll be able to win. That's pretty simple. I know some people think uh, they can't do it. You have to believe you can do it because otherwise, if you don't do it, then if you don't believe you can't do it, then it's gonna be hard for you to beat the game as much as you want to make your achievement. Also, was this game really made in Canada? Let me know in the comment below. Oh shit, that was a close one. I almost got hit there. Hmm, I wonder if I hit two or three. Will that be stupid enough to actually hit the one one? Of course I'd be stupid. Because what happens if you hit two or go to the start over, you literally gotta start over from the very beginning. And secondly, originally I was trying to go after the um, all of them once like that, to be honest, since the beginning of it. And I fucked up again, oh well. Let me see. Just give me two, because I really want to get my health up. I, I could care less. I know how to deal with their asses. Hey, here comes the twin. I can't say husband and wife because they're the joint twins, apparently. Oh, 
Come on. Come on. Alright. Okay. Yeah, easy to fight for me once you know the pattern is pretty easy. Oh, oh, fuck. Now I spoke too soon when I got hit. Well, look at it this way. At least a woman's an abuser, because if it has to be a man to be abuser, that'd be sexist. That'd be wrong. And we don't want that. Yeah, let's just get the shit out of the way and be done with it. And I got deal with this punk ass. At least I got three extra hit points on me. And also, if you lose, you have to start over at the very beginning of this fight. And I don't think any of you guys want to do that either. The, thing, the only thing makes it hard for me to play this fucking game because the stupid bugs right now is just flying on my body. Like, they're like literally all oh, bed bugs or little flying bugs that shows up at a certain hour. Like, they basically stripe bugs. It's tiny ass little motherfuckers that, um, they just all, oh, they show up most likely summertime and such. And when the temperature gets too hot in your room and such, then they start to um, fucking uh, build a nest and start reproducing like that. And in the end, it's like, and when, whenever you do your record like this, it's like it's hard for me to record because these little fucker keeps laying on you and it bites you and it sucks your blood. That's just annoying for me. Alright, Uncle, to the one more thing right here, I'm gonna show off the bad ending. At the devil. One hell of a time! Well, well, well! Look how far you come! Not only did you bust up my good for nothing lackey, King Dice! Well, I see you've got my soul contracts. As agreed, hand over them over and join the team. Yes. You're mine now, and we're gonna have a hell of a time down here! If you say yes, then also you get this ending. But it's fucking random when I first saw that. I'm like, god damn, this is a bad ending. Um, I believe, oh, I did mention this before, like, oh yeah, I got a cheaper for saying selling out. I'm over here blocking it. Yeah, 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 let's just skip this shit. We're not gonna be doing that. Is there, like, a different alternate ending if you do that? Yep. Because the game plays backward if you fuck up like that. It's fucking hilarious. So we're gonna finish it off with Mugman, it says, and also let me try to get this equip more added. That'd be an interesting experience. And to those who want to know how to use that uh, Super Move 3 properly, just hold down the right bumper and also say, uh, don't make a deal with the devil, first of all. Just say no. Well, Jake, on the air, just like all the others, eh? I'll teach you for backing out a deal. How about you? So basically, what happens is that, um, if you end up uh, using the Super Move 3 that summons your soul into a super uh, a buffed up soul like that, just hold the right bumper and you keep yourself in place. Because if you just let go of it and just do it without holding the right bumper, or it just uh, stay in place like that, then it's going to be harder for you to deal with that uh, move set. Take it from me, folks. I know what I'm talking about. This fight's actually annoying if you don't play it like this. Hold on, I fucked up. I don't know if it works for me every time I try ducking, every time I know he does a little swoop attack. It's annoying. Ah, fuck me! Let me try one more time.
Go away, you little minions. I mean, the devil in the oh, Clapper show sound a little sassy and stuff, so I can't even do his voice properly. Oh no! God damn it. Yeah, I had to be careful with that little minion coming at me like this. I mean, this fight is not as hard as King does because you had to constantly go after his minions and says, um, if you were to lose the, the fight entirely. Motherfucker! I got in this fight, I might just go along with it. Oh, I fucking flew into that! Oh! Ah! I should have jumped out the way properly. And I was about to get to the next phase, too! A great slam and then The funny thing about this is, considering that the devil is all uh, bigger in his size, and then, uh, a uh, cup has show he's actually like normal size, like six foot or normal size for anybody to be socializing with. It's actually pretty fucking hilarious when you think about it. Oh god. Just focus on the target. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, now we're going to the next phase. Yeah, you gotta watch it for that too. I don't think it's gonna go any further if you try that, so you're forced to go down there. I'll wait till I use my super move at the very last part of it. Get that thing too, by the way, because like the blast race is no joke. Okay, the platform's gonna go away. Get rid of them. They're actually annoying in this fight if you all let them get get around. And then hold down the right bumper as you do this. That way you can aim at the um, proper direction of um, where you want it to be at. Ah oh, shit, I fucked up. I should hold down the bumper while I was doing this. Okay. And that's it. Simple. Woo! At least I got him, say the least. Yeah, I fucked up a couple times, but I got him. I got him. No problem for the armster. He only took me 2 minutes and 34 seconds. Not bad. Not bad for the old armster. B plus. B for badass. B for blackness. B for our boldness. Yeah, I don't know how to go along with the other Bs, it says. Oh, B for bitching. Fuck yeah. <laughs> That's all I can think of. The players have time. <coughs> The friends have triumphed over the demon, forcing him to finally give up. <laughs> we shall accept your surrender, devil, Cuphead love, but we're not just done yet. We're not just done just yet. And with that, Cuphead and Milkman deserve all the soul's contact, releasing Ikro's Oz residents from eternal servitude to the devil. 
Okay. Gosh, I can't wait to tell everybody. Said Cuphead. The boys are set off for home on the uh, top street. Okay. C come on, last last one. There's a leaky cup. Mugman teased as they ran. Once home, the brothers gather everyone all together, saying, "Right, you're all free. The devil's death." Cuphead announced. And that thing for our what bother your ass ever again? Uh, Mugman added. The other, the other color was literally brimming with pride as everyone began to cheer. Let's hear it for Cuphead and Mugman! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! As an all day celebration began, the brothers promised to never wander into trouble again, and they didn't. Until next time, of course. But that is. Um, but that is another story. That would be a DLC Island. Oh, that's gonna be a fun thing to watch. But, yeah, I really do love this game very much. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Sincere appreciation to the members of our team whose loyalty and creative uh, endeavor made possible this production. Chad and Martin all molded a heart. Those guys did a great job with this game. Like, uh, they directed the game entirely how they want the game to be. The way how they uh, expect it to be from their own perspectives. Really well done, really well thought out, really creative, really fun and gameplay adventure for us to enjoy this game. And overall, if you guys enjoy the adventure and stuff like that, I do appreciate you guys enjoying my content for watching me play this game entirely from the regular run. For the next time we get into this episode, we're going to be doing an expert run, and my god, it's going to be a pain in the ass for me because, like, in the expert difficulty, Gonna be a pain in the ass entirely. Like, you gotta see the attack patterns of what they gotta do with me, and overall, it's like saying, Oh shit, this is gonna be fucking hard, and, um, it's like saying, you can see the difference between the normal run and the uh, expert run, I think. The attack pattern is so faster in the expert run that you guys can be appreciated you have the regular run to defeat, because, like, some of you guys do are. Fuck away. Like, uh, like, when you guys over here complaining that the game is too hard in the regular run, and then you could be saying uh, on the next episode saying I take back what I said about the regular run because like, the regular run is basically legit difficult but it's challenging in its own way but expert run is no fucking joke but I do love the way how they put a lot of work into this uh, game that is really well thought out and it's really fun to, uh, to get into the series that you want to appreciate what the team has put into that it's actually a, a really fun adventure to have fun with and not only that, everything was drawn by fucking hand, um, uh, drawn out of paper and then put it into this fucking game. Like, the background setting and shit, it's like, really well thought out. I like the way how they put a lot of creativity into, like, you're watching their old cartoon show, that's basically the whole point, and they made it come to life. Like, I believe that this is the only first game that's ever been made like that, ever. So that's why the whole f people who play the game, the fans of the series, um, Appreciate it so very much because it's so unique in its own way that it's all it has its own creativity to enjoy the series regardless so But yeah, that's that's why I, I enjoy this game so much that it, it, it makes me want to appreciate the series even more all, Overall the the concept that's given to us so Yeah, I, I do hope you guys enjoyed this last part of me playing Cuphead the regular run and the next time we get into the series like again I say this multiple times I'll say it again that uh, we're gonna be playing in the expert difficulty and such, and see the difference between the regular and the expert difficulty. And also, I forgot to mention that um, it's like the I I know I mentioned it before in the previous video, but I'll say in this one, if you guys try to play in a simple difficulty, you're not gonna go any further without all uh, uh, beating on a regular difficulty. Because if you try the easy way out to doing the easier difficulty sets, the game is like saying, "No, bitch, you can get your back in there and play the game by collecting all the contracts." And if you think you can actually uh, get away with it by playing in simple difficulty, then you're forced to play in a harder difficulty. So that's why it's always good to develop your skills as much as possible, so that way you guys can get the patterns down and then make it easy for all of us. So it's understandable, like all kids and adults alike who watches and play this game, they gotta say this game is legit hard. That's the whole point. Like you're playing Elder Ring, Dark Souls, and all that kind of stuff that any uh, uh, difficult uh, setting for the, each game is given to us that. It makes you want to appreciate uh, the game even more because, like, uh, there isn't any more. Like, it makes you want to appreciate. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> there will be. Like, it makes you want to appreciate a game that's a certain difficulty that is given to us. Like, they make it a fair challenge and it's enjoyable to play. That you want to enjoy the good uh, uh, adventure along with your friends and family who wants to play it. So. Come on, man. 
I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. So, the next episode you get into the series, uh, I'll say multiple times. I'll be playing the expert difficulty, and then you can see the difference between the expert and the uh, regular run of fights against the bosses. And no, we're not going to be no, a running gun, because, like, that's the only time I do the running gun is to collect the coins. So, now that I got that done, taken care of, then I don't need to worry about it anymore. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do like it, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification, and share us if you like this content in the future. That being said, I'm the Fitty Game Crusher, and your answer says, Catch you on the next episode, baby. Peace.